How? <laughs> hey, all you cool cats and kittens. How are we doing? Welcome to my skin root. The airing cupboard is open. Let's go look like an egg. Let's take this off for the intro, shall we? This mascara. It's really done me dirty. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. It's absolutely wonderful, but does it stay put? I think not. Get the mother frickers with the skin routine. Bum, 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 bum. Does anyone remember the Midnight Beast? Anyway, welcome back, cool cats and kittens. I am going to be doing my skin routine, skincare routine. I feel like I'm doing a Vogue video. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, so first step, wash my hands, wash my bum, no, I wash my hands, and then I put my fringe out on my face. Obviously all this stuff is vegan and cruelty free. Um, this is this cult beauty kind of headband thing, but you could use whatever you have handy to expose the forehead. I don't know why I'm doing it like a tutorial. Nobody cares. Oh my god. <laughs> Exposed. Look how big my forehead is. I think it looks worse because the angle when I do this. I look like Pinky in the Brain. Pinky in the Brain, 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 Pinky in the Brain. Okay, right, serious chat now, skincare. So if you're new to my channel, hi, how are you doing? I have normal skin, dehydrated skin, sometimes dry around my nose when my hay fever's bad. I have been on Accutane before. I'll link my Accutane video if you're interested, but I'm just kind of constantly parched. In fact, I'm thirsty now. Right, so step one, clean hands, dry hands. Make sure your hands are dry and your face is dry. I haven't got loads of makeup on today, but I do need to take my makeup off because I wear SPF every day. I have become an SPF. I used to hear people talk about SPF and I was like, I don't need to wear sun cream every single day if I'm not in the sun or if it's gray or if I'm inside. Now I've become like a fanatic. So I wear SPF 50 every single day. And I used to think, this was part of the reason why I didn't wear it. I used to think SPF broke me out. It didn't break me out. If you're thinking that it breaks you out, it's actually the fact that you're not cleaning your skin well enough. I've always done a double cleanse, but I obviously wasn't doing it well enough. And I'll get into that in a second. First cleanse is always a cleansing oil. I lo actually prefer cleansing balms in terms of how they feel and how they break up makeup. I'm a poet. I didn't know it. I love cleansing balms, but often, I didn't realise this, but often they can contain bits of plastic. Like the pharmacy one, I think that's actually got honey in it, but it's got... I can't remember what the name of the plastic is, but I'll put it on screen if you're interested. They A lot of them use plastic, basically. I don't know if the Body Shop one does, but that one's got fragrance in. In general, in my skincare, my skin can be quite sensitive, so I try to not use fragrance. I, that's not true for everything. And I don't mind too much if it's something I'm washing off my face, but when it's something that's staying on my face, it can just be quite irritating sometimes. So in general, try and avoid fragrance and parabens. And the only reason I avoid parabens is just because my skin is sensitive to parabens. Like if I wear makeup with parabens in, my eyes will itch and run. I'm just a sensitive soul. So anyway, into the skincare routine, I'm gonna start with this oil to milk cleanser. This is by Cree and Cree are a small business which I love. I was introduced through uh, my friend on Instagram. We've been chatting and they recommended this, this cleansing oil. Actually, this is the new version of their cleansing oil. It's an oil to milk cleanser. Their regular one, I have it as well. It's called their Prelude Cleansing Oil. Very similar packaging, but this one doesn't emulsify, whereas this one does emulsify. And if you don't know what that means, it's basically when you introduce water, it will turn into a milky texture. So at the moment, I'm just rubbing it over dry skin into the areas where I've got makeup on the five head. And you can see it's starting to like dislodge makeup. Sorry if you've seen this a billion times, but I have been double cleansing for as long as I can remember. Well, that's, that's an exaggeration. As soon as I started wearing makeup, like 13, I was double cleansing. I hated makeup wipes. Like, I'm just saying, I was well ahead of the whole makeup wipe hate bandwagon but they never did anything for me you introduce a bit of water now and it should you'll be able to see it turn into a bit of a milky kind of you see you see that um yeah i hated makeup wipes and now we all know makeup wipes are a bad for the environment but also they don't do anything they just rub the makeup around your face you're not actually washing your face i urge you to look into cleansing oils if you're still not on that double cleanse trend i mean i used to stay like after nights out and stuff when i didn't bring anything with me nights out that made me sound like a party animal but when i stayed at someone's house say after a night out i would want to take my makeup off like obviously don't, i wouldn't want to go to bed with my makeup on and instead of using a makeup wipe i'd say do you have any like vegetable oil in the kitchen which is not ideal i used to use olive oil sometimes which again it's not ideal it's way too thick and again it doesn't emulsify better than nothing needs mask okay and then what i do you can just rinse it off with water 
But what I like to do is take one of these bad boys, and I know what you may be thinking, is that a face halo? I do have the face halos, but I actually have found a much cheaper and a much better alternative. So the idea of the face halo, if you haven't heard of it, is I think they're about £18 for three, and they look very similar to this. And you're supposed to be able to take off a full face of makeup with just this and water, or just that pad and water which I personally don't think works. Maybe if you just wear a teeny tiny bit of makeup, it would work, but you drag your face so much in the process. I don't, like a... I don't even know. Let's try and make the forehead a bit smaller. Is that better? Do I look like Victor Crumb? Victor Crumb? Victor Crumb. What's that guy's name in Harry Potter? Victor Crumb, yeah. In the wizarding cup, whatever they call it. Wait, wizards of, what are they, what's that cup? Quidditch cup. Goblet of fire. <laughs> oh, it's been too long. Um, anyway, I find you drag your face so much in the process, like you, you're irritated, or I found I was irritating my eyes. Um, so I always used to use that in combination with a cleansing oil to kind of wipe it off. But I think they're overpriced. And I also think that they, they turn a bit rough after a while, like quite quickly, because you just chuck them in the washing machine after you use them, or you can use one side and then the next day use the other side and then put it in the washing machine. Um, but I found these, and they are so much better. They're by Essence. They're so much more cushiony. Did I bring a box in here? No, I didn't. You get a box of 10 for seven pound, I think. Or maybe, no, a box of seven for 10 pounds. But it also came with like a headband like this and also a bag to wash them in. It's re a really good deal. And this is the first one I've used from the set. It doesn't cling onto, like I just wash it with soap every time I use it um, and rinse it well with water. And it doesn't cling onto any makeup. I highly recommend these over the face halos. They're much better, just saying. But yeah, as you can see, it's taken off my makeup pretty well. I'm gonna move in on to my second cleanse. So I have still been loving the Trilogy Cream Cleanser. I love this. This is like an all time die hard fave. I love the packaging as well. It's like this frosted glass bottle. It's a beautiful cream cleanser. If you have drier skin or more sort of parched skin, dehydrated skin, sensitive skin, I highly recommend a cream cleanser because they are so darn gentle. And this one in particular, it's got evening primrose in, it's got rose of oil in, very gentle ingredients, I find, for my skin. And neck, oh, this is not the best jumper to wear, but don't forget your neck. You've got to wash that neck. I put SPF on my neck as well, so it's good to get in right to the edges of the face. And also, Here's another tip since my last skincare routine. I still love all those products in my last skincare routine, by the way. This has just maybe got a couple of updates in terms of the techniques I've been using, including I learned something about cleansing that I never knew before. Well, I mean, I probably did subconsciously know, but basically I used to put my cleanser on, rub it on my face for about 10 seconds, wash it straight off. You're not getting any of the benefits in terms of actually cleaning your face. Like this second, second step is supposed to really clean your face so that your next skincare steps work even more, like they, the actives, if you're gonna use active ingredients, can work to their maximum potential. And I never used to give it the time of day. Like I used to, 10 seconds and then off. And I learned through that meme of like Kylie Jenner using her face cleanser. She literally put it on, wiped it straight off, which was a bizarre video, but yeah, she was promoting it and she just put it on and then rinsed it straight off. and. The, I think one of the comments said you need to use your cleanser for at least sort of 30 to 45 seconds. So since I've been doing that, honestly, I see a massive difference in my skin. And I, I know it might look like I'm being quite rough with my skin, but I'm, not, I'm actually being quite gentle. But I'm just trying to make sure I get all the areas. And this is such a gentle cream cleanser that sometimes I'll just leave it like this. <laughs> now I look like the moon from Mighty Goosh. I went and oh, I've got stuff on my collar. Titties. Sometimes I'll brush my teeth with this cleanser on my face and it kind of acts like a face mask. Wrap it into my hands. It's really, really gentle. And actually something I do like doing is whilst it's on my face, if I want to do a physical exfoliant, in fact, do I want to do this today? Yeah, I will. I don't like doing a physical exfoliant the same night I'm doing a chemical exfoliant, if that makes any sense. But I'm just going to use some of this, which is the nicest physical exfoliant I've ever used. This is the best physical exfoliant ever. In fact, I did a blind not a blind taste test, a blind test with my friend Soph who has dry skin and she loved this. I gave her a whole load of like different skincare bits and a little sample of this. She loved it. It's by Tropic and it's their face smooth brightening polish with acai berry, macadamia oil and bamboo silica. And I'm pretty sure it's got salt in because sometimes I use it as a lip scrub and it tastes really salty. But it's the most fine 
you only need a tiny bit but you won't even be able to it's got hair on it i don't think you'll be able to see how fine it is i don't know if it will even focus but it's just the most fine it's not a gritty kind of it definitely exfoliates don't get me wrong but it's the actual exfoliating particles introduce a little bit of water the exfoliating particles are like the size of salt they are so fine and they just work so well and you can be really gentle but it, it's really effective at exfoliating that top layer of skin i mainly use it around my nose because that's where my skin can kind of take a little bit more exfoliation and then on my lips i don't do this every night by the way you don't want to be too harsh on your skin and then rinse it off now my favorite chemical exfoliant exfoliations exfoliants actually i've got a whole video on my favorite face masks including my favorite chemical exfoliant face mask so i'll link that for you um but i mentioned in that video this facial detox you can't even see it can you let's, let's focus on it shall we yeah you gotta focus it's the gold fadden md facial detox solution this is just the sample size the full size is about 55 pounds so i ain't gonna buy that but this is only my second tube so maybe one day i'll splurge on the big pot but i only use a tiny bit around my nose just where i exfoliated i will use this and it's got the key ingredient for me is salicylic acid, um, which is a really nice BHA, beta hydroxy acid. But it, it's kind of creamy in terms of the consistency. You can see that. So it's actually quite gentle. I find it quite, it's not too intense. Like the ordinary one that I like, their peeling solution is really good, but it's a bit more intense. Um, oh, and also sometimes when I don't want to use that physical exfoliant, I use this Foreo, like silica ex exfoliating kind of thing it's very very gentle but i find it's good for exfoliating maybe like the rest of my face that i haven't exfoliated with that um gritty cleanser and this doesn't actually work this came broken it's supposed to vibrate and it doesn't but it's fine it kind of works okay anyway i was actually supposed to send this back because i sent customer service an email saying hang on a second this doesn't work and then they said oh we'll refund you just send it back i forgot <laughs> i forgot but they still refunded me winning all right next up i'm actually supposed to have a wet face i forgot about that oh actually i wanted to mention a mask that i didn't mention in my recent favorite masks video is this claire's youthful glow sugar mask um this i wasn't sure about at first because it's like a sugar scrub but it's a mask and sugar if you don't know is a humectant so it's a hydrator um, which is weird because sugar, eating sugar is really bad for your skin. But putting sugar on your skin, that ain't so bad. I'm really enjoying this. Like I have to be in the mood for it because it is gritty. But as long as your face is wet and you apply it gently, it's really good. It's very nice. It's a nice alternative to like my regular hydrating mask. I love the Tropic one. I love the Sukin one as well. Anyway, I just moisted my face. Moisted? Wetted? I've just re-dampened my face, but I should have done this quicker. Um, I go in with a hyaluronic acid and I'm going to do this quickly because I feel like this works a lot better. All, all hyaluronic acids I find work better when your face is wet, but maybe it's because I live in a drier kind of climate. This is the hyaluronic acid by Q&A, hyaluronic acid. I was watching this video about hyaluronic acid. They don't actually put hyaluronic acid in hyaluronic acid serums. It's the salt version of hyaluronic acid like sodium high something science i have to work quickly at this bit so i'll quickly do it and then i'll explain what i'm doing because otherwise i find that speed is of the essence here time is of the essence so i go in whilst my face is still damp i go in with a hyaluronic acid serum and this one from q a it's six pound fifty it's vegan and it's cruelty free and it's the best one out there i've tried so many I know in my last video, I think I showed the Evolve um, serum, which I still really like. It's much more expensive than this one and it's not as good. It's really not as good. So I pop that on and then sometimes I'll go in with a vitamin C before that actually, but my current vitamin C has oxidized. If your vitamin C goes yellow, it's not good. It means it's oxidized. So I'm not gonna be putting that on my face, but I've just been using the Tropic Glowberry Serum. In fact, if you've got a vitamin C serum to recommend, please do let me know because I'm new to the world of vitamin C, but I know that it's like one of the only scientifically proven ingredients to really help brighten your skin, promote collagen, but it, you have to use it for quite a while. It's, I mean, if you use it one time, you might see a bit of brightening effects, but after a while, that's when you see like the long-term beneficial effects of it so yeah let me know um, but as soon as i've done maybe my vitamin c then my hyaluronic acid then i pop on a moisturizer to like lock it all in 
and I'm not really faithful to any particular moisturizer. I'm trying to think what moisturizer did I use in my last skincare routine video. At the moment, I'm using the Bybe Night Nutrition one. It's quite lightweight, it feels like a day cream. Um, but I'm also using this one by Purito. It looks like a toothpaste tube. Centella Green Level Recovery Cream. Clean and plant-based ingredients. Nice 2%. It just feels like a normal moisturizer to be honest, but I really like this brand. I love Korean skincare, I'm obsessed. Um, and yes, sometimes, also this is like my full on skincare routine. Like I won't always, sometimes I'll just do double cleanse and hydrate and moisturize. I don't always go in with like a mask and exfoliant and stuff, but I just thought I'd show you absolutely everything. Um, and then sometimes I'll put a, like a hydrating mask on top or I'll pat in a little bit of oil. I feel like my life has changed since I realized that oils don't actually hydrate your skin that much. Like they're not the key hydrate. They will hydrate the top layers of your skin, but they don't go that deep. I used to smother my face, especially with these Bybee boosters. This is the strawberry one, which I really like, but I used to just smother them on my face and I used to go through them so quickly. Whereas you only really need a few drops to pat into your skin. Mm, it smells like strawberry. It's really, really good. I love these things. I think if you're gonna try anything from Bybee, try the boosters, they're amazing. And they're only £12, and actually if you use them properly, i.e. pat them into your skin and not smother them all over your skin, you don't actually go through them too quickly. But yeah, that's made, probably made the biggest difference to my skin in terms of hydration, not focusing so much on oils. I mean, I do, before I go to bed, I'll put an oil right under my eye, all the way up to there, because I wake up with dry eyes otherwise. Like, crusty eyes, that sounds a bit grim. But just because of hay fever at the moment, so that kind of helps. Biggest difference in terms of my skin um, has come from using a hyaluronic acid serum. This one in particular is absolutely banging. I think I have, a, do I have a code? Oh no, I don't know if I do. I'll see if I can get a code, like a discount code for this because they sent me this originally and then ever since then I've just been buying it again and again. So I'll see if I can get a discount code. Any discount codes I do have, I'll link down below. That and also using a humidifier in my room now and then. A, my houseplants love it. They have flourished. I know nothing about houseplants. I was just kind of watering them willy nilly ever since I've been using a humidifier made a big difference. They absolutely love it. And my skin really likes it as well. I think it's because it's been really hot in the UK, like unusually hot for springtime. So yeah, those are the big things that have made a difference in my skincare routine. And then the last step is a bit of lip balm. This is relatively new to me. This is the Biosance Squalane. It comes in a little tub like this and it's the Squalane and Rose Vegan Lip Balm. I really like this stuff so far. I'm really, really, really picky when it comes to lip balms. Most lip balms other people like, I don't like. I don't like Vaseline, like the vegan cruelty free version of Vaseline. Bybee Lip Plumper. Mm -mm. I like the Crazy Rumours ones. They used to be my all time favourite, but I'm pretty sure it feels like they've changed the formula as they changed the branding. But this one I'm really enjoying. And I also am quite enjoying the Copari, the Copari, Copari Lip Glossy. That's quite a nice one as well. So yeah, that is the last step in my skincare routine, I think. Oh, sometimes I'll use this, because obviously this is my evening skincare routine. Should have said that at the beginning. Um, but this is the Vegas Nerve Oil by Osea. I've got a whole video on Osea, Osea. <laughs> I don't know how you say it. I say Osea, but I think other people say Osea. I'm <laughs> just saying, so, not like other girls, you know. But I just rub this. I think the instructions are to rub it on your neck. What does it say? Behind the ears and down the sides of the neck. This stuff, is relaxation in a bottle. It doesn't smell like lavender or any of those typical scents because I do like a good sort of like temple balm, the So Sleepy Balm by Tropic or the, I think Skin and Tonic do a version just to unwind. Oh my God, it's absolutely amazing. It's instant as well. As soon as, it's like aromatherapy and also just probably the act of massage on your neck. It's delightful. So yeah, that is the last step, I guess, in my skincare routine, not technically skincare, but it smells kind of earthy. It smells kind of nettily but it's really nice it's very pleasant yeah it's a nice kind of bougie treat at the end of the night and let's take this off because it's starting to itch my head can you see that red mark oh god that feels so good itchy itchy it doesn't usually itch my forehead but i think it's because i had it on for so long i don't usually take like 20 minutes to do my skincare routine i'm gonna love you and leave you because otherwise i will just keep chatting until the end of time but thank you very much for watching if you want to see some more vegan and cruelty free content make sure you subscribe let me know your favorite vegan and cruelty free skincare products for hydration that's what i like a little bit of hydration check out my favorite masks video if you want to see my favorite kind of masks for getting rid of blackheads and for hydration as well and yeah follow my socials and hopefully i'll see you very soon bye